a Sydney jogger was so savagely mauled by three American Staffordshire Terriers that paramedics could see his heart through his wound when they arrived to treat him. We're gnawing on his shoulder the way dogs do when they have the knuckle of a bone, Mr. Thompson told the Daily Telegraph. Mr. Thompson said the dogs then turned on his friend Colin McEwen, who had tried to help. I grabbed a pot plant and cracked it over the dogs' heads and the shock made them disperse but then they came back and latched onto Colin's hand, Mr. Thompson said. Colin was on the ground and it went for his head but I got it with a hammer just in time. It is believed a passing bus also stopped and passengers got off to try and help the man. The jogger is expected to undergo surgery at Liverpool Hospital today. Earlier today the owner of the dogs consented to them being destroyed. Detective Superintendent Jim Johnson told reporters the owner had been extremely shocked and upset when he went to the police station. The dogs will likely be put down this afternoon or tomorrow. Liverpool Council said the owner had previously been fined for failing to have the dogs registered. The council's general manager, Farouk Portelli, said the council was aware the dogs, two males and one female, were microchipped but not registered to the owner. Mr. Portelli said the owner was handed three fines on January 10 over the unregistered dogs. Sup Johnson said the owner would probably be charged with keeping a savage dog, which attracts a fine of up to $5,500. If a child or young person had been attacked, I have no doubt whatever that that child would have suffered fatal injuries, he said. Police believe the dogs escaped through a small hole in the fence. The people who helped the man who was attacked will be recommended for bravery recognitions, Sup Johnson said. The NSW opposition has called for a full investigation into the attack with opposition local government spokeswoman Sophie Coates is calling for tougher laws including stricter reporting requirements for owners of dangerous animals.